Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at seven different ways that you can make your Samsung Galaxy A23 just a little bit quicker when it comes to performance overall. So I'm going to go through the seven different ways that you can do that. But make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video because this video is going to help you and I don't want you to miss any one single one of the features that we're going to be talking about that's going to make your a23 your samsung galaxy a23 faster but if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new i encourage you to subscribe if you find this information and in the least bit helpful but if you're already a part of the crew salute so we're going to jump into the first uh, way that you can make this guy faster and it has to do with just basic things so I'm gonna go ahead power up the Samsung Galaxy A23 from the, um, you know the Galaxy series and this guy is gonna be one of the best A series phones that you can pick up because it will offer the 90 Hertz panel which is, gives you a nice refresh rate it also gives you a really bright display with a huge battery and a number of features like smart view where you can share your phone to your TV. You can also get the headphone jack included on here. It does record up to 1080 uh, frames per second on front and the rear cameras, right? So let's just jump into it now that the phone has been booted up. Um, it's gonna basically, this is gonna be the number one feature. No in particular order that we're gonna be running through these, but this is just the first feature that came to mind when I was thinking about making it faster to help you guys out in case you just wanted to make your phone run a little bit quicker. So let me increase the brightness so you can see the screen just a little bit easier, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into settings, right? And then all right after you go into settings, right, you're gonna go into this option right here where it says accessibility, right? And then once you're inside of that, you're gonna have some features inside of here that's gonna help you enhance your um, display, your phone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into visibility enhancement. So then you're just gonna remove this guy right here where it says remove animations. And what that does is it actually makes it just a little bit a tad quicker visually. Also, a lot of people who suffer from you know vertigo or the dizziness, and um, sometimes you might have that 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 thing where you're, you're, you get a little bit nause, no, get nauseous when you see things moving around on your screen a lot. If you remove the animations, not only will it make your phone run a little bit quicker, okay, um, when it comes to just scrolling speeds and going from point A to point B, you're going to see no animations, but it's not going to give you that, no, that feeling that makes you dizzy because a lot of people have like uh, vertigo. You may have, you might, you might suffer from other things that you know you're sensitive to like light and motion and things of that nature so I just wanted to throw that out there so the second thing you want to do is you want to actually use close the apps that you're not using okay so let's say that you chose to use the option right here where it says you know maybe you're, you're just using Twitter it's just to scroll and you notice a little bit of delay on your device right you might notice a little bit of delay on your device but it's nothing too crazy all you'd have to do is rise up right here and you can see you have the Twitter app right there. But I, what I recommend is keeping at least three apps open at tops if you wanna get peak performance. So you can see that Twitter's here by itself. And with Twitter just there by itself, automatically it's just gonna run a lot cleaner. So it's really easy to just clear some of the apps that you're not using in the background. While you're using that app, you're gonna notice more, better performance, okay? So, all right, so that's the second way that you can increase the device, right, for performance reasons and overall just, um, you know, quicker performance, faster performance, and it's going to also make your phone just a little bit more zippy. So the third way is to clean your RAM out, right, and you basically can do that really easy, and you, all you have to do, all right, is go into settings right here, okay, and then after you go into settings, you're going to actually scroll down to the bottom of your device, right? And what you want to do is you want to go into something called battery and device care, okay? And then you're going to actually go right here where it says the memory right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you the ability to choose this option right here down below where it says RAM Plus. And what you want to do is you want to click the four gigabytes or the two. In this case, I did click 
the two gigabytes of RAM so that my phone can just have a nice faster feel to it when I'm and have more apps running in the background at one time so it's gonna ask you to reset your device when you do that for the first time so once you do that it's gonna be pretty cool for performance and you're gonna notice a quicker performance okay so I just want to throw that out there but if you're enjoying the video so far and you're still with me and you're watching the video right now meaning if you're you have you're you're still looking at this video make sure you type down below I'm still here in the comment section and if you're finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button so you can show your support and appreciation. Now, the next thing you want to do is, and this, these are the next features, and they're going to be kind of advanced. So I just want to mention that. It's going to be pretty sick, okay? These are going to be some advanced features. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. But let's just jump right back in, okay? So basically, you're still in memory, and you want to clean the memory every so often. Hit that button right there. And it's going to automatically clean up any background memory that you have and then it's going to say great and so then you, you when you notice when you open up the device now you're going to notice that everything just looks a lot cleaner on here so that's the actual you know the fifth way so this is where it gets kind of sick okay so make sure you stay locked in with me so what you want to do is go into something called um, settings right here after you click settings you want to click accessibility one more time right but when you're in accessibility this time you're gonna find something called interactions and dexterity right and this is where it gets funky because right here is what I did is I went into the option where it did say touch and hold delay now by default it will be at the very it'll be at the short setting right here 0.5 seconds but what you want to do is actually make the delay time very short. So now if you're typing on the keyboard, it's going to be at very short. So if you're just typing on here, I could type, um, I don't know, YouTube. The, the touch controls is going to be almost instantaneous when you're touching on the keyboard. And basic touch, touch functions are going to be a lot cleaner. So that's something that I did notice because it's going to actually make the touch delay response from 0.5 seconds to 0.3, speeding up the overall keyboard performance so you won't have any keyboard lag. So I heard a lot of people complaining about keyboard lag. So I just wanted to show you how to make your keyboard typing experience faster where there won't be any delay when you're typing on your keyboard with the touch responsiveness, okay? So just keep that in mind, right? So the next feature that we're gonna be talking about with this guy right here, and this is gonna be um, another, another advanced feature. So you basically wanna go right here where it says, um, this is gonna be an advanced feature like I mentioned. So you wanna go right here all the way to the bottom and you wanna hit about phone. And this is where I'm gonna have to go into my um, option right here where it says, uh, software, um, you know what I mean, information. So you go into settings and then you click software information. And then when you find this screen, you want to click the build number five times. And then you want to enter your pattern on your device, okay? After you enter your pattern on your device, right? You're going to basically, it's going to say the developer mode has been turned on. So just go back into settings after you back out and now scroll to the very bottom and you're going to see a new menu all the way at the bottom up here called developer options. Okay. And um, this is a pretty cool feature because someone had actually brought this up to my attention. What you want to do is scroll to the very bottom of the device and you're gonna see something really cool that's called no background processes. So I'm gonna keep scrolling until I see that, right? But you just keep scrolling all the way down. Take your time, it might take a minute to, to get there, okay? Cause there's a lot of features inside of here, but um, you know what I mean? It's gonna be all the way down at the bottom. And right here, here it is, background processes limit. So right here it's gonna say standard limit, okay? But if you what you want to do is click no background processes, okay? And now what you're going to notice is that the phone will actually open up apps extremely um, fast. It's going to be impeccable when it comes to the speed. You know what I mean? And um, you're going to notice that. Look, everything is just going to seem extremely quick, right? Um, you're going to be able to get to point A to point B really fast. Um, that that's one of the main the, the advanced features because nothing is going to be running in the background at any time so you're basically going to speed up activity on your device all around all the time and this is what's going to make the phone run really really whistle smooth and really quick so uh you're going to notice a big peak in performance when it comes to that feature and shout out to the person who did mention that thing to me because 
I wouldn't have known about it if he, uh, if the dude who had uh, talked about it in my last speed video didn't mention it. So shout out to you, uh, for real, for real. You know, whoever you, I forget, I forget what your name is, but shout out to you. But I definitely think this is a feature that you should know about when it comes to the overall processing and speed and performance of the A23. This will even work with the A13, A12, A02S, A3S, um, things of that nature. So the last feature is not really that advanced. It's a direct takeaway from just the feature that's mainly in the device, a selling point of this device when you go to display. And if your device is actually set up for um, the scroll and speeds option right here, what you wanna do is go to motion smoothness. And I like to keep it all the time at 90 Hertz because this is gonna help when it comes to the scrolling speed of your device. So if, it, if you wanna get longer battery, you will change it to 60 Hertz display, right? For refresh rate times. But if you wanna get the best, smoothest frames and just overall appearance of moving through your phone and um, everything like that, even the fingerprint sensor is lightning quick, right? Let me do that one more time. I jinxed it. Okay, no, it's pretty quick. So like I said, that's going to be the final feature. Those are all seven of them. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you did find it helpful in any way possible, make sure you show your support and appreciation by hitting the like button. I truly appreciate it. But uh, if you made it this far, type salute in the comment section so I know you're a real one. But I'm going to get right back with you. I'm going to answer all your questions down below, but I'm going to get right back with you. But um, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and show your support and appreciation. And have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending where you are, have a great night. Later. Later, cool. Peace.